Hey guys, do you really need a Rolex or Zenith or even an Omega coaxial escapement movement to have a very accurate watch? Can the underdog Salita SW200 be just as accurate, maybe even more accurate? Well, stick around as we explore the accuracy numbers of this movement. Now, the Scuba Tech uses the top grade of the SW200. Carl F. Bucherer calls the movement a 1950.1. Not sure if the watchmakers at Bucherer are regulating it in addition to what comes from the factory, or perhaps they're modifying it in some way. Now, you could see for the better part of the better part of a year that they watch would run a little bit slow, but I, I would say well within the COSC specs. You can see the numbers here. The position of the watch in the evening makes no difference. Whether I keep the watch bezel up, bezel down, crown up, crown down, it made no difference in the accuracy number. But what made a huge difference, in the morning, I shake the watch vigorously for 30 to 40 seconds. And in the evening, I also do the same. I shake it vigorously to make sure that I'm, it's being wound as much as it can. And I have found that that one, that one tip has made all the difference in the world. But guys, let me know what you think. If you could share your accuracy numbers in the comments below, that'd be great. And, and don't forget to let me know how long it's been since you last wound the watch, which I find is really important 